there's a story all about how my <laughs> Daddy D's back at it again with another video. And I'm three months early this time. So today we're gonna be talking about storytellers on YouTube. You may remember Miss Tana Mongoose from the whole iDubs beef. He fucked me with a toothbrush. Well, other than her, no storyteller on YouTube has actually been exposed for their fibs on the internet. Except our subject of today, Austin FFA or Luna, a YouTuber who tells stories over various types of gameplay, such as Call of Duty, CSGO Surf, Call of Duty. For all the YouTubers that made exposed videos or proof Luna's stories are fake, I'm just gonna tell you now. You're wasting your fucking time exposing this kid. It doesn't take rocket science to come to the conclusion that Sir Austin here, a kid who looks like this, and has barely turned 18 by the way, of course has not been nearly killed 60 plus times, nor has he had more sex than Dan Bilzerian, and he hasn't done more drugs than the entire Mexican cartel. Now you're probably thinking, isn't this an exposed video on Luna and other fake storytellers? No, I personally, I don't give a shit about that. But their whole channel setup does give me an idea. See, no matter how many times these storytellers get exposed, it doesn't matter because you can't directly prove or disprove that they're fake unless you were involved yourself. And as a content creator, the only things you would need to make endless amounts of content are some gameplay to talk over and... IMAGINATION! So I'm gonna borrow Sir Austin's gameplay format for the day and tell the only entertaining story I have in my arsenal. Now this story is nothing too spectacular like having sex while smoking weed, while trapped inside of a trunk of a Bugatti that's falling off the back end of a cargo plane, but I do have something pretty close. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the story about how I had sex while smoking weed, <laughs> while trapped inside the trunk of a Lamborghini that was falling out of the back end of a cargo plane. Roll it! Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Oh wait, shit, wrong YouTuber. Uh, play it back again. Our story begins one beautiful summer day. I was pretty deprived one morning. I was trying to get some poo tang from my girlfriend at the time. I call her up and say, Hey yo girl, you trying to get down and dirty? So I pick her up. We're driving through the Beverly Hills area and my girlfriend decides to be very spontaneous and say, Let's go inside someone's house. Like someone random and rich. That would probably get us either arrested or on several watch lists. I'm totally down. We spot this one house that's completely wide open and we uh, make our way inside. And while touring this house, I keep thinking, this place seems oddly familiar. So as I'm going through from room to room, it doesn't hit me until I get to the garage. And I saw a black Lamborghini. I instantly knew whose domain I was in. That's right, the legend himself, Tony Lopez. My girlfriend comes through with, Oh my god, this guy has hella weed, let's go do some! And I'm like, girl, chill. We gotta find a romantic spot first. But put the weed in your pocket just in case. I got a lighter. Then suddenly, I hear footsteps. Then all of a sudden, the trunk of the Lamborghini opens. And we climb inside. Ty the legend enters the room. He must have noticed that he opened his trunk on accident, and without even seeing us inside, he closes it. Now Pablo, are you paying attention? Cause this is where shit gets really weird. So we did what anyone would do in this situation when all you have is each other, a lighter, and a huge bag of celebrity weed. Smoke weed every day. Smoke, smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke, smoke. That was some good ass weed. Meanwhile, we just hear Ty Lopez in the front preaching about knowledge, and then eventually I just passed the fuck out from the weed. And the next part was like, just completely fucking crazy, dude. You have to believe me. Hello? And after a while, I finally woke up and heard jet engine noises. Yup, that's right. We're on a fucking airplane! Just a normal Tuesday for me. And I don't know if it was the weed at this point, but for some reason, my girlfriend at the time, she just looking right. I'm I'm pretty sure it was the weed. I'm I'm pretty sure it was the weed. And then the Covenant from Halo showed up. No joke, no lie, not making this up. The Covenant was shooting at the airplane. The cargo door busted open, and while we're still trapped inside the trunk, making sweet love, the Lamborghini falls out and starts spinning. And the worst part was, I was mid-stroke, dude. I had a nut to bust. So after we finish. 
copulating. We somehow managed to climb our way from the trunk into the back seat of the Lamborghini, and then we were able to realize that we we're actually free falling through the sky. Ah! Damn. That was some good ass weed. Ty, Ty, what do we do? How do we survive? Uh, get the parachutes. They should be under the seats. Wait, why the fuck do you have parachutes in your car? You can never be too prepared. One of my bookshelves taught me that. Knowledge. But then we realized we were free falling right above a Kanye West concert. So we jump out, pull our chutes, and then watch the Lamborghini plummet to the ground. This is where shit got real trippy, dude. And then the Lamborghini transforms into a Decepticon, dude. It's just free falling. It's about to do some spin moves. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not making this up, I swear. So as the Lamborghini just keeps free falling, we realize, I realize, holy shit, there's an intervention on the Lam on the Decepticon's back, bro, and he's headed straight for the Kanye West concert. He grabbed the intervention off of his back and started spinning. Instantly, I knew. Oh shit! It's my boy about to hit a quick scope. All I heard was. And that's it, dude. I, I just I think Kanye West just got quick scope, my dude. And you wonder how the story ends? Uh, the parachute broke, and I just fell and died. And then I woke up the next morning because I was dreaming the entire time. Wait, so the entire thing wasn't even a real story? It was just a dream? Yeah, but it was still technically a life story, so... Oh, fuck. I'll be fresh to death, you be dressed to get shitted, huh? She think that I'm Mr. Right, but I think I'm committed wrong. Girl look like a leaf, but she want of a million. Y'all keep it a hundred, I'm a thousand like a killer done. Just look at my daddy if you want to know who I get it from. Just look at my mommy if you want to know how- A lot of times I get messages like this. 